Grace and peace to you this day. It is Thursday, January 14th. Our devotional time brings us back to Luke's account of the gospel. We'll be reading from Luke chapter 3, verses 23 to 38. Uh, this is the genealogy of Jesus, according to Luke. I won't be reading it aloud in this video. It would take quite a lot of time, and there's no way I get all 77 names correct on one take. So I'll let you pause the video and take a look through those various names. Uh, pay particular attention to names you recognize and which names you don't. I'm guessing it'll be about 50-50, or you may even recognize less than 50% of the names, and that's just fine. Many of these people aren't mentioned elsewhere in the Bible, and yet there are also some very uh, important figures here, figures that are notable from, from Genesis all the way through the Hebrew Scriptures. So take some time, I'll read, and then we can come back for discussion. Now, one thing to keep in mind here uh, in Luke chapter 3 is the location of this genealogy. Why not put it at the beginning of the book? That's what Matthew does with his genealogy. Well, Luke seems to be uh, really hinting on the fact that Jesus is the Son of God. In fact, let's take a look at the verse that comes right before our devotion today from Luke 3, verse 22. The Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily form like a dove, and a voice came from heaven. You are my beloved Son. With you I am well pleased. Now, these famous words come from Jesus' baptism. And here we see the Father calling Jesus his Son. And it is in this context that Luke goes to show that Jesus really is the Son of God, even in somewhat of a biological sense. As opposed to verse 23, where Jesus is supposedly the Son of Joseph. Now Luke here is making a point that he's made before, that Jesus is born of the Virgin Mary, and therefore is not the biological child of Joseph in any way, shape, or form. And yet Luke continues on with this list of names, 77 names in all. And the 77 number there, uh, it can represent completion. Uh, perhaps the number seven does represent completion, seven days in a week, that sort of a thing. And so 77 would be completion upon completion. We also could divide this list of 77 names into 11 groups of seven names. Again, seven is completion, and then Jesus almost begins this, this 12th um, set um, in the new age of the church, marking eschatological fulfillment, end times fulfillment. Uh, God's family is becoming complete. Jesus, the very Son of God, uh, has come to earth. Now, one of the names you, you may or may not recognize from this list I wanted to highlight briefly, uh, Zerubbabel uh, lived during the return from exile uh, from Babylon. So this would be recorded in the books of Ezra and Nehemiah. Zerubbabel came from the line of David, but there was no king in Jerusalem during his time. And so he was a descendant of the king with no throne. He was governor of Judah, but that title and that that government position wasn't anything like being king of Israel or king of Judah. And yet the prophet Haggai prophesies to Zerubbabel that God will make him like a signet ring. A signet ring uh, was used to mark official correspondence by the king and was sealed to show that it was authentic and, and it sh the seal should not be broken except by the authorized recipient of the letter. And so this term signet ring uh, implies that there is going to be a return to royalty coming from Zerubbabel. And here in Luke chapter 3, uh, we see that Zerubbabel is included in this genealogy of Jesus, and, and thus this prophecy is fulfilled in Christ who comes to take up the, the office of the king, as was foretold to Zerubbabel some 500 years or close to 500 years beforehand. Another name you likely recognize here is Jesse. Uh, this fulfills prophecy from Isaiah chapter 11, where God says that one will come from the stump or, or the root of Jesse and, and will rule. And this also obviously is fulfilled in Jesus. Uh, Isaiah 11 is a text that we often associate with Advent. At the end of this list here, we get to the son of Adam, the son of God. And these are two of the most important names in this whole list. Uh, the son of Adam shows that uh, Jesus is human 
and and that he has come to uh, share in that humanity to the fullest extent. We are all offspring of of Adam through various uh, family lines in one way, shape, or form, and and Jesus is the same through through Mary, his mother. But also, Jesus is the Son of God. Um, one way we could even read this genealogy would be uh, Jesus being the son, as was supposed, of Joseph, dot, dot, dot. He's really the Son of God. Um, so that's ultimately the point that Luke is making here, uh, that the claim that God the Father makes in verse 22, you are my beloved son, with you I am well pleased. Uh, this is rooted in Jesus' very nature as truly a uh, divine, but also in his human nature, even his human genealogy as being truly human. Uh, what does this all mean for us? Uh, why does this genealogy uh, still inform our faith and life in the church today? Well, we see ourselves in this way, too. Um, God has entered human history, and perhaps there's no much clearer way of showing that than a genealogy, uh, that Jesus is a descendant of various ancestors, as are we all. And we even share common an ancestors through um, Adam and Noah and, and others, perhaps, too. And that God has brought us all into his family by faith, and that we, too, are called children of God on behalf of of Christ. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for sending your Son, Jesus Christ, into the world to bear our sin and be our Savior, that we too might be called your children. Thank you for bringing us into your family and showing that Jesus is true man, uh, a man who comes from a long uh, line of descendants, tracing ultimately back to you, our Maker and our Creator. Jesus is so different from us, and yet he is also similar to us in many ways. He has gone through anything we could possibly go through in this life, and we thank and praise you for sending him uh, into this world in very tangible ways, even ways that we can see through this genealogy here in Luke chapter 3. Be with us today and always. In the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Go with God's peace this day.